Tom has covered 40 World Series, 39 Masters, eight Super Bowls, and five Olympics. He won the Post's top career honor, the Eugene Meyer Award. In April, he entered the Washington, D.C. Sports Hall of Fame, which includes Morgan Wooten and Adrian Dantley of DeMatha. Tom lives in Maryland with his wife, Wendy, and their son, Russell, is a University of Maryland graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, and DeMatha class of 2015, Mr. Thomas Boswell. I was going to thank a number of people, but after that introduction, I think I should say thank you two or three times for that. <laughs> I would like to thank Dr. McMahon and the faculty, as well as the parents and students of DeMatha Catholic High School for inviting me here. This is an honor for me. From the time we heard the first choral notes, beautiful, fabulous setting for a graduation. But this is also a great pleasure for me personally, because I go way back with DeMatha. I feel like I'm among friends. John Moylan came up to say hi. Everywhere I turned around, I met someone that I either knew or who knew someone that I knew. To show you how far back I go, when I was a high school senior your age, I went with some of my buddies to a game you may have heard about, Power Memorial High School of New York City against DeMatha and Morgan Wooten's legendary teams. Power had seven foot two Lou Alcindor, you probably know him now as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, that team and Morgan's teams were so famous that if we had had ESPN back then, it would have led the national news. We often hear now about cover boys like Steven Strasburg and Bryce Harper, whoever's going to be the next LeBron James. There was never a high school athlete more famous than Al Cinder was at that time. My buddies and I went to Coalfield House we got the worst seat in the house, two or three rows from the top. The Power Memorial fans got the best seats right by the court with a huge sign in front of them that said Power. They must have brought 1,500 or more fans. Long before the game, 10 or 15 minutes before it was supposed to start, we began to hear something and we, we said, what, what's that noise? And then you could hear that it was the entire Power Memorial crowd going, Power, Power power. Every minute they increased it. Power, power, power. By the time their team was ready to run onto the court, they were screaming at the top of their voices, power, power, power. They shot out of the cold field house locker room. Jabbar comes out seven feet two, dunks backwards over his head to the elbow with both hands. The next two guys behind him are both six foot nine. They slam. We're all DC guys, hoop fanatics. By the time about the eighth straight power guy has thrown down an amazing dunk, we're looking at each other and saying, uh-oh. <laughs> I think we invented oh my god that day. But you know, because you're from DeMatha and you know the excellence that you stand for, you know what happened that day. DeMatha won. I've sometimes wondered in all the years since, that was the first epic sports event that I ever attended, even though I was your age when that happened. I wondered whether the, the drama, the emotion, all of the storylines that were woven in that, uh, that day, I almost wonder if that was one of the things that planted the seed that I might want to write about things like that. But my connection with DeMatha just never seemed to stop. Never seemed to stop. The first thing I was ever assigned to cover for the Washington Post was a DeMatha football game, your annual rivalry with Carroll. I covered that game six times. The first Hall of Famer that I ever interviewed, and I've interviewed more than half of the people 
who are in the Baseball Hall of Fame and many others. But the first one was your Adrian Dantley. But I interviewed him when he was in the eighth grade at Bacchus Junior High. That's going a long way back. The first coach who ever invited me into his locker room at halftime to hear a halftime speech was Morgan Wooten. I still remember it was one of those rare times that DeMatha was behind at half. You were playing St. John's and Morgan's friend Joe Gallagher. And I remember how calm and encouraging Morgan was to everyone. I expected him to be something of a ranter. Not at all, just the opposite. I do remember him saying, there are a lot of things you can do wrong in basketball, a lot of things that you can do too much. You can shoot too much. You can dribble too much. You can even pass too much but you can't rebound too much, and we're being out-rebounded. He picked up the stat sheet and looked at it and said, one, one rebound, Mr. Dantley. Nervous laughter. DeMatha goes out for the second half, owns the boards, and you know the end of the story. The Stags won.